Yeah, I just worked my truck about three hours ago. And it's just steady coming down. Yeah, these ceilings in this garage are huge. I think they're 14 feet. Well, let's get to it. Let's make something. What we're going to do is I'm going to take you through the steps on the CNC machine program. This is what you have to do before you can actually cut on the CNC. So we're going to create a new file. And it's just wide this way and five and a half of this way and a thickness of 0.737. I think that's the thickness I have to check. Hit OK. Now the first thing you do is you go over here and you do your text because I want to put kid's name in here. Let's try another font. Oh, uh, something girly. Okay, maybe we'll try this one. Let's see how this works. Our name is Maya, so M Y A. And we'll see if that works. And we've got it one is high, we're gonna try we're gonna try two point five. I like that, grab the handle in the middle. Let's see. Let's see, uh, what is this? Sign right up. Um, that's okay, but what I want to do is have this carved, but, but have our, um, na our initials offset. But I'm with, I'll, show you, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to offset by about an inch. I'll set it by about an inch and cut around that. See? I'll set that's, that's better. Take this one out. And that's, that's what we're going to do, okay? I'm going to close this. I'm going to select this text. We're going to put a toolpath around it. Toolpath is what the machine will follow. We're going to do this in a, a, a pocket because that's not going all the way through. We're going to have it maybe right now. Point 0.1 of an inch. We're going to use a V bit. It's 22 degrees by a quarter inch. We're going to have it make about two passes. Now maybe three. Who has to see the vibes it up on like how deep the pass goes. And we're gonna have it. We're gonna cut it all set. We're gonna have a climb cut. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna name this text. So I know what it is and create. See, it's going to run out. That's your 3D view. It's going to run out. Um, toolpath in there. Now, what you do is you go back here. And you select this. Select the outside edge. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to run. On that one, you're going to want to run a cutout. A profile toolpath. This is going to cut it out. 737, I think, is the depth. We're gonna we want to run a four inch ml all the way around outside the outside of the line. We got inside and on. Inside or on to here, inside, on or on, right on. It's pretty self explanatory. We want to run the outside, which is the outside of this line. And we want to add tabs. Tabs are like little pieces of what did the machine will leave in there to hold it up to keep it from falling out? If there's 0.1 inches lateral and 0.1 and a half inches thick. We added those. We add 
tabs and see if it's going to put them. It looks about right. Oh, my phone. Somebody wanted to give me some money for Christmas. <laughs> That's okay, I don't need any. We had three tabs here, one tab, see the little markers. Okay. I saw we need three, you know, I may add four. You add it with the plus mark, it, it'll have a check here. You just push the button and it comes up. Same thing that has X. Go back over and has X, you can take it out. Doing the same thing. Edit your tabs. Calculate and see it runs a tool path around that. But, oops, I'm gonna go back in here, edit this. This is something I forgot to do. I was gonna try to do this in two passes. I'm gonna do it in five, maybe six. Six passes. Okay. See any setting I have here, you can. Just edit, you can hit edit and go back in and change it. Now calculate, see it puts six pass, passes in there. All right, let me set this straight again. And let's see what we've got. That's what I'll be left with. Now see, I don't like the tab here because it's not really holding much. So I'll put one, put one, need this out one actually. Hmm. I'll put, um, go back here, edit it again. Edit tabs.